Good evening and a warm welcome to Evensong at St George's Anglican Church Paris. Um, uh, we've had to uh, change the candle this evening um, because the old candle died uh, and as a consequence I decided uh, that the icons uh, didn't really fit. Um, I think that this is a stone uh, from the original uh, from the last uh, St George's Church. Um, I think um, it was here in the flat when I arrived uh, and I can't imagine why there would be a stone like this um, with both cut and uncut faces. Um, sitting atop the stone is a hazelnut. Um, Christ is the living stone upon which we uh, are built uh, and the hazelnut reminds us as Mother Julian of Norwich um, in her revelations of divine love uh, spoke uh, of uh, all creation held uh, in uh, the hand of God uh, uh, in Christ all things uh, are held uh, by God. Uh, the psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 97. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord, the Lord's name be praised. The Lord is King, the earth may be glad thereof, yea, the multitude of the isles may be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his seat. There shall go a fire before him, and burn up his enemies on every side. His lightnings gave shine unto the world, the earth saw it and was afraid. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens have declared his righteousness, and all the people have seen his glory. Confounded be all they that worship carved images, and that delight in vain gods. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard of it, and rejoiced, and the daughters of Judah were glad, because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art higher than all that are in the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. O ye that love the Lord, see that ye hate the thing which is evil. The Lord preserveth the souls of his saints. He shall deliver them from the hand of the ungodly. There is sprung up a light for the righteous, and joyful gladness for such as are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks for a remembrance of his holiness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, beginning at verse 8. If a judicial decision is too difficult for you to make between one kind of bloodshed and another, one kind of legal right and another, or one kind of assault and another, on any such matters of dispute in your towns, then you shall immediately go up to the place that the Lord your God will choose, where you shall consult with the Levitical priests and the judge who is in office in those days. They shall announce to you the decision in the case. Carry out exactly the decision that they announce to you from the place that the Lord will choose, diligently observing everything they instruct you. You must carry out fully the law that they interpret for you, or the ruling that they announce to you. Do not turn aside from the decision that they announce to you, either to the right or to the left. As for anyone who presumes to disobey the priest appointed to minister there to the Lord your God, or the judge, that person shall die. So you shall purge the evil from Israel. All the people will hear and be afraid, and will not act presumptuously again. When you have come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, and have taken possession of it, and settled in it, and you say, I will set a king over me like all the nations that are around me, you may indeed set a king over you whom the Lord your God will choose, one of your own community. You may set as a king over you, you are not permitted to put a foreigner over you who is not of your own community. Even so, he must not acquire many horses for himself, or return the people to Egypt in order to acquire more horses, since the Lord has said to you, you must never return that way again. And he must not acquire many wives for himself, or else his heart will turn away. Also silver and gold he must not acquire in great quantity for himself. 
when he has taken the throne of his kingdom, he shall have a copy of this law written for him in the presence of the Levitical priests. It shall remain with him, and he shall read in it all the days of his life, so that he may learn to fear the Lord his God, diligently observing all the words of this law and these statutes, neither exalting himself above other members of the community, nor turning aside from the commandment either to the right or to the left, so that he and his descendants may reign long over his kingdom in Israel. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is from 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 13. Therefore prepare your minds for action, discipline yourselves, set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. For it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. If you invoke as Father the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord endures for ever. That word is the good news that was announced to you. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. 
O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us thy humble servants that, by thy holy inspiration, we may think those things that be good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.